the most important things you need to know in English. If you can learn these four verb tenses, if you can learn how to make sentences in these four ways, you will be able to talk about anything. Quran My name is Samir. I was born in London, England. My father is from India and my mother is from Pakistan. Now I live in Morocco. I will teach you a new word to recite. Recite is to read loudly. So in English, we have verbs to play, to read, to go. A verb is an action word. It's showing that you are doing something. That's a verb. So, to recite. For example, to recite the Qur'an. Let's try to make four sentences using this verb. Okay, one is going to be present simple. Two, present continuous. Three, past simple. And four, future. Number one, present simple. How to talk about habits. I recite the Qur'an every day. Subject, verb, more information. Number two, subject, plus verb to be, plus verb, plus ing. I am reciting the Qur'an now. Next, I recited the Qur'an yesterday. Number four is like number one. Just add will. I will recite the Qur'an tomorrow. Alhamdulillah. So number one, if I want to talk about my habit, I recite the Qur'an every day. Number two, Talking about something happening now. I am reciting the Quran now. Number three, the past. I recited the Quran yesterday. And number four, the future. I will recite the Quran tomorrow. Quran so tell me, what do you like to do in your free time? Watch. Television. Okay, good. I will teach you some basics about grammar. In English, if you can learn four verb tenses, then you can talk about anything you want. Number one is how to talk about habits and hobbies. Number two, talking about events happening now. Number three is events in the past. And number four, events in the future. So, again, number one, how to talk about habits and hobbies and facts. Number two, events happening now. Number three, events in the past. Number four, events in the future. So, number one, in English, we have a sentence order. We start with the subject, and then we use a verb. So it's like this, subject, verb. And then you have more information. Who is the subject? If you are talking about yourself. I is the subject. This is called the subject of the sentence. So we begin with I. What's the verb? Watch. And more information, television. Very good. So number one, I watch television. And after that, you can add more information like every day, on the weekend, in my free time. Number two, when we speak about now, we have to use four things in the sentence. Subject, again. Then we use a verb to be. Am, is, are. Then we use the main verb plus ing. This is like a formula you can memorize. This will never change. If you want to speak about now, you have to use a subject, then the verb to be, am, is, are, then the main verb, plus ing. For example, I am studying. I am cooking. I am sleeping. I am running. This is number two, speaking about now. So again, number one was speaking about things which happen usually. I watch television on the weekend, in my free time, etc. Number two, I am watching TV now. Number three is the past tense. And watch is easy. You just have to add ED. Watch becomes watched. And number four, the future. You start with the subject. You see, we always start with the subject for a full sentence in English. 
I will watch. Here, we use the verb without adding ing or ed, just the verb on its own. I will watch, I will go, I will read, I will play, I will sleep. And then you can add more information at the end. I will watch TV tomorrow. These four things are the most important things you need to know in English. If you can learn these four verb tenses, if you can learn how to make sentences in these four ways, you will be able to talk about anything, inshallah. In grammar, in English, we have a name for these sentences. Number one, when we talk about habits, hobbies, and facts, in English, this is called present simple. So this refers to the verb. If you learn the verbs of any language, you've learned the language. So the verb is the most important thing for you to focus on. Number one, the sentence is in present simple. Number two, events happening now. We call this present continuous. It just means now. Number three, events in the past is past simple. Number four, events in the future. This verb tense is called future. Present simple means, uh, you know, usually. Or a fact. I live in Morocco, for example. That's a fact. The sky is blue. So, number one, I watch television. This is like a hobby. So I use present simple. Number two, I am watching television. Present continuous. Because it's happening now. Number three, I watched television yesterday. This is past simple. The event has finished. Number four, I will watch television tomorrow. This is an event in the future. It has not happened yet. Alhamdulillah. So this is uh, the grammar to focus on. So I've been teaching English for more than 10 years. And when I was teaching in a language center, I was using course books. And all of the books that you use to teach English start with Present simple. When you use English books which have level one, level two, beginner, intermediate, advanced, you always start with number one, which is present simple. How to talk about habits, hobbies, and facts. And for that, you just need three things in the sentence. Subject plus verb plus more information. I watch television. I recite the Quran. I run in the park. I go to the gym. Then you speak about now. I am watching TV. I am studying. I am reading. I am cooking. And then we have number three. I watched TV. I played with my children. I worked in the office yesterday. And number four. I will work. I will play. I will go. There is a little bit more to learn. Do you have children, Muhammad? Okay, mashallah. That's nice. How old are they? We need to use the rule, subject, verb, more information. Don't forget this. This is the most important thing when you make a sentence. Now, in English, you must have a verb to make a full sentence. And if you don't have a normal verb like eat, play, go, work, then you need to use a helping verb. This is called the verb to be. It's a helping verb an auxiliary verb. And in the present, it's is, am, or are, depending on the subject. Who is the subject in this sentence? We are speaking about Hamza, so we start with Hamza. Then you said 11 years old. This is more information. 11 years old is more information. What's the verb? Good. Hamza is 11 years old. Now, this is a full sentence. Excellent. Most sentences will be one, two, three, or four. It's either habit, hobby, or fact, and you have to use subject, verb, more information. And the verb can be a normal verb, or it can be the verb to be. Hamza plays with his friends on the weekend. Subject, verb, more information. And here, we have a normal verb, so we don't need a helping verb. Okay, Muhammad, barakallah fiqh. Uh, so that's, that's grammar. Wafakak Allah, insha'Allah. Quran Homeschool